What's up, ladies and gents? I got this package in the mail today. This should be a package with some headlights in it for my 2007 Chevy Suburban. Hey, look at that. It is. So, this comes with installation and care kit. Right here are the headlights. They're covered in plastic and generally look like they're in fairly decent condition. These right here are protective. Mm. There's some glue right there that's attached to this. Well, this has attached to the glue, I should say. We've got this little guy covering this tab. Some wires, I'm guessing these are for the always on LEDs or the daytime LEDs, this part here. Um, covered in plastic, they look pretty good overall, looks pretty decent. And these are for the marker down here. And then, yeah, the LED. And this is how you adjust them. These look pretty good. The instructions say we're going to need some things. This is a trim tool, apparently. We're going to need a different kind of trim tool. This right here is the trim tool all they're using. This is the trim tool that probably ought to be in the pictures. Uh, the other one is actually just some sort of like trimming tool. It looked like it was for cutting. So this is what we're using. Now for following along the instructions, I'm going to take out this 7, this pull tab, this pull tab, and this 7. Right in line with this top 7mm bolt, you're going to look inside and there's going to be a 10mm bolt right in there that you're going to want to get. Right there. Why these got to be so difficult? There. So we've got the OEM plug. We're going to undo that. Oh, that does all of them. We're not going to be using the original headlights. We're just going to be using the plugs. So what we need to do is unplug these. And that's really simple. Just the two side clips right there and then the top clip right there. Then we're going to undo this Torx bit, which isn't in the instructions list. If you can see that there right in the center, this piece right here, this holds the wires into the harness. Now, it doesn't tell you on the tools list that you're going to need that, but you need this Torx bit. And that's just to undo the wires from the housing. Then you can pull this bulb. this bulb and this bulb maybe and pull the whole wiring harness away from the old headlight so now with your new headlight peel these off Put the wiring harness back where it was. Pop these bolts back in. We're going to plug these into the harness. Making sure that the clips are locked. Alright. Now as you can see here, 
this doesn't have a hole it has a spot but it doesn't have a hole for that um, for that screw where that screw went in now to get the marker lamps hooked up we've got these two wires we've got a ground and a power that's for the LED that goes around we're going to be splicing that into the parking lamps So once you get everything plugged in, you have your plug there. All these wires should be tucked up, but there's nowhere to tuck them into because they don't provide that little hole. So what we're gonna do is just set them there. That'll be fine. Now, to get this in here, it's a little tricky. There's this tab on the bottom, and you have to get that in. You can't just put it in like this. You have to put it in at an angle. So you do the bottom part first, and then the top part right here and then you just kind of slide it sideways into where it needs to be. Like that. And then it just sets right in there. Once you're done with that, reconnect these two bolts and the bolt inside. You can see the difference from the original to the aftermarket one. Aftermarket one's there, original is there, and they look pretty good. Let's uh, let's get this driver's side out, get that one replaced, do the wiring, and we'll see how they look together. So to properly aim these headlights, it says they need to be three and a half feet up the wall and we need to be 10 to 25 feet back. Well, I'm 10 to 25 feet back and I'm gonna go measure that and see how far we're off. All right, so there is a bulb that I need to replace. This was out before I changed the headlights, but this bulb right here needs to be replaced right here. We're about even. This one's at 42. This one is at 38 and a half, which is okay. We don't want to blind any other drivers. And they look good. We got high beams. High beams there. Low beams. Right on the money. That was a pretty simple installation. Uh, one thing that I think needs to be updated on there, the trim removal tool or the trim tool um, that needs to be addressed it says you need butt connectors uh, I don't recommend the butt connectors I prefer the splice which you can see right here but I've actually been using these headlights for the last few days they've been doing really well I can see everything good at night and they look good with the LEDs as well if you guys want a set of these headlights for your Tahoe Suburban or Silverado Check the link down below. You can save 10% using that link. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.